Ben, did I ever tell you the story of the chunk? It all started last Friday, when Marek was asleep on a mattress that someone, it was Marek, stole from the New Park Hotel. So, anyway, the story continues on Saturday morning, which, by the way, was the morning after Friday. Marek wakes up and then proceeds to wake up the rest of us with a scream. For you see, he pulled back the duvet to reveal the chunk of poo. Now, Marek tried to blame this chunk of poo on the dog, Charlie. However, I think Charlie was innocent in all of this. You see, for Charlie to make the chunk, he would have had to open the door, walk in, climb under the duvet, make the chunk, climb back out under the duvet, and walk back out the door, closing it behind him. Now, a dog can't do this. Enter. Hi, um, I'm Shaz. I'm new to the school. I was wondering if this is the drama club? Okay. I'm James, and this is Ben. So, any goss? What? Gossip. Do you have any? No. Then why are you here? This is Drama Club, right? Yes, and we're not going to start any drama with a gossip. I'm sorry? I think you can be of use to us. Back in 2015, there was a vicious beast that roamed the drama club, and her name was Karen. Now, Karen was the life and soul of the drama club, causing drama everywhere she went. But one day, it all changed, and Karen found a new club to entertain her. But it was all right, though. We were better off without her. But if she thinks she can live on knowing our secrets, then she's wrong and she deserves to die. Now, I don't much fancy going to prison. They don't even have collars on their shirts there. Which is why we're not going to kill her. No. What's worse than death? Shaz! It's perfect. Shaz will infiltrate Karen's pet pack of harpies and drag each and every one of them under her heel. Those bitches will be so busy roasting bitches like pigs, they won't even notice someone's infiltrated them. So that's when we drop the bee bomb. Bad mouthing. Shaz, you tell them that a girl in your school told you that her cousin overheard of the hairdressers on the way to the dog room is because the guy there is such OT hot. That James's old friend from primary school broke his leg and then got mugged for his crutches. So when James was, was on the way to give him a piggyback home, he looked over his shoulder and saw that James had an embarrassing tattoo on his arm. Karen will be all over the school talking about my embarrassing tattoo, but what she won't know is that during the middle of lunch, I'll step in, rip up my sleeve, and show them all it's not there. So, Shaz, are you ready? No. Looks like we're face to face again. I heard you've been spitting the gossip about me, and that's fine, except none of it's true. <gasps> I have no idea how that got there. She wasn't lying. Oh my god! Glad that wasn't real. That's right, I've been working with Karen this entire time. We've been friends since we were little girls. She told me all about your evil plots, James. You're on your own. You know what would cheer you up? What's that? 
Some good old fashioned Mexican black tar heroin. Just like Mama used to make. Busted! <laughs>